fly are we using? Mm -hmm. dry Tiny fly. dry fly. Yep. Beautiful day. Did you see it? No. Want me another? It's a trout. Yep. Hi, friend. He's gone. He's good. All right. That was some fly fishing up in northern Idaho. Hope you enjoyed that. What's up, everyone? Greg from Covering Ground here. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video about the new fly rod that I got. It's, it's a Martin eight foot, five way rod, three pieces, super simple, super cheap. You know, I'm very new to fly fishing. I've really started to love it. I've gone with guides a few times, but my wife and I, um, we were up in Idaho and, and I was able to get out on the river and, and test out this rod. Wanted to just you know, make a video kind of overall review of the rod um, real quick and just capture some some fun footage we had of us you know out there and you know I caught a couple cutthroat they were really really small um, we really only got one on video um, I mean they were so small we didn't feel like it was worth capturing anymore but I caught I think three total uh, both nymphing and with some dry flies it was an awesome time I mean overall it's the perfect entry rod I feel like it's it, it it was simple enough for me to just buy this and and not really fret about it it wasn't some expensive piece of equipment as we find with you know archery and you start get, digging deeper into fly fishing it's, it was it was perfect for that it, it, uh, it was easy to transport took it all the way to Idaho from Alabama no issues there you know I did stop at a local fly shop that was awesome they gave me some good tips uh, on where to go, what to use. Uh, purple was actually the, the winner um, up there. It was a very common color that uh, it was working out really well. We were unfortunately there uh, when the runoff was a lot lower. So I think that's the main reason that the, the cutthroat weren't so big. I think a lot of those fish had moved on, but we were up in the northern part of Idaho, um, the North Fork, it was just beautiful. And you know, being up there, it was the perfect place to test it out. And we've tried going out solo fly fishing on expeditions before and haven't had success. We've had a little bit of success with guides before in different areas in Montana and Alaska and things like that. Uh, but re most recently we were up in Colorado and just got completely hosed. So it was awesome to have a little bit of success. So overall thoughts on the rod. Um, for the price point, I feel like you can't beat it. Uh, I would say, you know, it's a, it's a three piece. It's I, I guess <laughs> something to be aware of if you're ordering like a case or something, just make sure it's gonna be the right length. A typical nine foot four piece rod will fit in a lot of you know normal travel cases. This is a little bit longer, so you are gonna wanna find something that's a little bit longer. Maybe that fits a 10 foot four piece, or you're gonna have to find like a nine foot two piece case. So just something to keep in mind, but overall it's great. It was easy to transport. Um, 
it was smooth to get the, I had the tippet put that on, but the rest of the line was loaded. It had the, the fly and the leader on there and the backing. I, I will say that the one thing that kind of annoyed me, I guess, and what I'm used to with rods that we've rented or that we've used with guides and things is typically the fly line to the leader is connected with a, uh, a hook and loop, like handshake type of knot, which is super, super easy and super smooth. This is a nail knot, which I think is actually more common. And that is the right way to do it. The, the thing was, it's just very thick. And there were times where it would get caught as I was trying to get it through. Um, but once I got it through, it was fine and I could cast. And I mean, I'm still not good at casting. So at the, <laughs> at the end of the day, it was probably more me than the actual rod. But that's really my one main complaint. I didn't really have any issues. You know, it was catch and release out there. So I got a lot of fish on the line and it was barbless hooks. Got a lot of fish on the line. I lost a number of them, had nothing really to do with the rod. I think it was more just me, number one, not still really not knowing what I'm doing and learning. And number two, just, yeah, it was, it was barbless. It was easy for them to, to kind of um, whip off once they got on. So it was, just, it was a ton of fun, great entry rod to use and uh, hope you enjoy some of this footage that we've got. And if you have any questions, comments, tips, tricks, anything you got, I'm all ears still learning. This is a great way to get out in the summer and just try something new. It's definitely something I'm going to be doing a lot more. I really, really like it. It's, it's a lot of fun. We're coming around the corner now though to the end of summer and focus will be solely on bow hunting. We've got some good stuff in the works with uh, hunting trips and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. After last year and the, the mistakes I made, I'm, I'm really hopeful I can round the corner and uh, have some success. So Overall, great rod and uh, appreciate you watching. Just let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.